Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and uh, welcome to another live stream. Today is February 16th, 2020, and we're doing a, actually our first open discussion on the environment. And I added the second tagline, I guess, as in pursuit of economic growth. Um, because when we're talking about the environment right now, what's going on with the environment and our footprint on the world, um, it's related to economics, right? And specifically economic growth and pursuit of economic growth. Um, and I'm surprised actually this is the first uh, specifically environment live stream that we're doing or we've picked because uh, my background, as you may know, is uh, environmental work. I did uh, 10 years, a decade worth of environmental geophysics work in the 90s. So I have a sort of a interesting perspective on the environment from that period. Captain Hawk, how are you doing? Hey, Chicho, how's it going? Doing good. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, I love Spider-Man. How are you doing? I guess notifications went out really fast uh, this time around, eh? I made it to a stream. Yay! <laughs> Let me do a pop out the chat here. Nice. And that's out. Your sleepy waves. How are you doing? How's life? This is our third live stream uh, for this week. And I'll leave the intro there. Um, it's open discussion, environment focused, if possible. Um, if other topics come up, they come up. Um, but ideally we want to stay focused on the environment and just to let you know as i mentioned before we have uh, uh new tenants or not tenants it's not our place but new people living downstairs so and it looks like they have a little gathering going on so we might hear a little bit of laughter and chitter chatter going uh, and maybe a little bit of uh, mandolin playing <laughs> right we'll see <laughs> spider-man they did but I was also waiting on your Twitch channel and refreshing because I could not wait. Nice. <laughs> How was yesterday's stream? It was pretty good. Is it worth rewatching? Uh, Chicho's streams are always worth rewatching. Awesome. Thanks for the love, Spider Man. Uh, Sleepy Wave, it, it was a good stream. It was. Um, what did we talk about? Uh, we talked about. Uh, it was a request. Uh, we talked about risk and moving specifically. If. Uh, if you're planning on moving locations, cities, or towns, or counties, or countries, we talked about some of the things you have to consider uh, in terms of economics and your social setting and your diet and and everything. Uh, sort of, it was sort of a fluid, open discussion. It was a really good live stream, actually. Uh, I had a whole bunch of stuff listed that. You know we went through and other people had recommendations and comments and you know questions took over so it was it was a good stream i liked it do you think the space program is good or bad considering the more environmental aspect uh, personally i think it's good because the human race is so isolated on earth but i'd like to hear your thoughts captain hawk i, I like the space program right he, he humanity's future is space right the future of almost every living species on this planet is space if they come with us they come with us if they don't come with us the the sun is gonna go into i think a red giant in four billion years <laughs> if we want to law thinking long term but if we're if we're thinking if you say the future of humanity we don't know how long it's going to be right uh, but it's in space um and we're explorers at heart, right? We want, we have questions that need answering and there's a lot of questions as to how we came to be, right? You know, I always come with the questions, right on Steve Ways. Good evening, Chicho. Reno, Mike, how are you doing? How's life? Sounds interesting, I will rewatch this week. Okay. And remember, if you don't have the time to watch these videos, in regular speed mode um, you can watch them in one and a half or two times speed mode 
one and a half times speed mode is more of a da -da 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 rhythm to it. The two times speed mode, you got to get used to the used to the flow. Yeah, no, that's true. One day, this earth will not be habitable. Yep, maybe. 50 years from now, 100 years from now, 1,000 years from now, 10,000, 100,000, million. At some point, it won't be, right? It'd be a shame because all we accomplish would be lost so quickly in the event of an asteroid or something like that. Yeah, and those are the, uh, what do you call that, extinction uh, events. Right, and we actually did a little bit of mathematics regarding one of those in the math live stream a few days ago. I'll definitely try to cut that segment out and upload it independently of the live stream as well as uploading the live stream. We'll see. I haven't got to that yet. What is the negative physical effects of G5? Oh, sleepy waves. I, uh, you, uh, if there was one person that was going to ask that question, is you. Uh, personally, I'm not a huge fan of maximizing upgrading our technology to the highest speed possible so we can implement automation as soon as possible and all this jazz right we haven't the experiments if there has been any right there haven't been conducted long enough for us to know the effects of 5g like a lot of people initially when cell phones came out people were saying oh so you know so it's not a good idea to put a transmitter and if you you most of you guys would have been around during the late 80s early 90s well those when those gigantic cell phones were coming out right i i saw some people walking around with them right in the casino there was a couple of people that were gambleholics that would show up with their cell phones and sit there all day and just answer phones and do business and play cards right initially when it came out people were like oh wow mobility right and then people started going you know what probably not a good idea to have a transmitter beside your head and people say oh you guys are worried too much and then they said you know what those things might be causing brain tumors right and people say oh you guys are exaggerating too much it's you know you're too worried and then the data came out that a lot of these cell phones this first wave came out in japan and there was a sort of a lag a few years but brain tumor rates started going through a roof in japan right and then later on it came out that yeah it's not a good idea to have a gigantic transmitter and a receiver holding up to your head right not a good idea right so hum humanity our society sacrifices health sacrifices the well-being of everyone communities the environment in pursuit of economic growth which 5g promises right so what are the physical effects of 5g you know what we have no idea we have no idea right any any scientist that comes out and says oh 5g doesn't affect us is talking shit any scientist that comes out and says 5g gives cancer to everyone is talking shit we haven't conducted the experiments long enough to what to know what the effects are right we need to slow down growth and really allow in large part not pseudoscience but science and logic and experimentation to take over right it'll be better for everyone down the road right you can you relate it to cigarettes you can relate it to alcohol you can relate it to anything you want sugar diet pushed by centralized governments we have to be uh, you have to question right hell in the year 2100 our estimated population will be 11.2 billion uh spider-man depends where some parts of the world the population is going to decrease that asteroid problem so on that asteroid problem was super fun right um i love spider-man the kicker is these are projections for certain parts of the world like for example last time i looked at this which was like 10 years ago because i wrote articles on this population growth and, sh and stuff like this right nigeria's population was supposed to go from 100 million to 200 million in 100 years triple wow sorry uh 
up to 300 million it was supposed to increase by 200 million which is gigantic right something along those lines i might have my numbers wrong but it was going to triple in 100 years right in other parts of the world the population was going to decrease right so we'll see if we hit the 1.2 billion um, right now we're about 8 billion right will we hit it possibly possibly not blood rushes to your head in 5g swan dive into a pool of acidic lava and you would approximately uh, simulate what 5g does to you yeah i'm not a fan oh wait wrong g i thought you meant gravitational force ah <laughs> but that makes sense space to tech brain no work <laughs> What's the what's the g-force on uh, rockets being shot up with passengers with astronauts in there? I don't think it goes past three g. What does it? Three g? There's a certain g factor and gravitational uh, uh, gravitational force of the Earth, right? Our gravitational force is nine point eight uh, meters per second squared. So acceleration and gravity act in the same way or we perceive them to be the same way or they act on on matter in the same physics right so when people say 3g it means three times the gravitational force field normal gravitational force field of earth i'm surprisingly awake martin how are you doing <laughs> sunday sunday must be maybe it was quiet there u1f 920 how did she how d Great answer, Chicho. I never thought that, yes, we should slow down technology and automation. Why rush into our own doom? Why? Why rush into? Like, it's crazy, right? We didn't learn from doctors pushing cigarettes. Cigarettes are good for you. What? <laughs> Breathe fire. It does no harm. What? I hope that we won't see weird genetic mutations in babies due to 5G scrambling DNA. Yeah. Maybe we'll get a world of scanners, right? Have you guys ever watched the movie Scanner? Scanners? Pretty good movie. Cronenberg, uh, I believe. It was fun. Human logic. I read on BBC World News, France flew in snow on a slope since climate change made it warm there what a great idea i thought beans yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> what <laughs> it's like the whole concept of drainage and uh, the movie there will be blood drainage drainage i just grabbed that stat from wikipedia so it's accuracy is definitely questionable <laughs> it definitely would be questionable <laughs> on wikipedia <laughs> it depends on the time uh in launch oh yeah i guess it depends on time and launch it can get up to 5g depending on what craft you use wow 5g there was a launch abort and i happen to know the astronaut really but he hit 9g when the capsule was ripped off the rocket 9g man you would get blood vessels popping in your brain so our upper products like iphone and um airpods terrible uh, i don't know what airpods are um, i don't like i don't for me personally i don't like my specialization when i did geophysics was electromagnetic and magnetic methods like that's what i specialized in that's what i wrote a paper on that's what i did a huge chunk of my 10 years of geophysical work right so i know a little bit about electromagnetics okay i've forgotten a lot of it but i know a little bit not a good idea to have a cell phone on you the whole time i do not carry a cell phone on my body 24 hours a day or even 12 hours a day or even four hours a day or even an hour a day okay not a good idea not a good idea radiation quakery drink radium to uh, cure upset stomach and headaches <laughs> quackery i believe nothing that the powers that be tell us yeah be uh, skeptical of authority that's the name of the game 
he went higher than alan shepherd i don't know who alan shepherd is so when he went up last year it was technically his second trip to space I lowly key feel like wireless Bluetooth headphones are really bad. Yeah, I, I wouldn't put those things in my ears. I can't believe people walk around with those things all day. <laughs> scanners. Whistle, whist, whistler's mom. Uh, scanners was a, a... Is that what it was? Whistler? I don't know the Whistler's mom reference, but Scanners was... I believe it was Cronenberg, where people can have mental powers. It was really cool. Very violent. It was great. Oh, AirPods are wireless AirPods. No wire. Yeah, I don't. I don't do wireless stuff on my head. By the way, snacks today. Um, toasted flat bread, flat Persian bread. It's called sangak with feta cheese. These are very good. And sweetened with honey ginger and mint tea fighter pilots train at 9g it's not as bad as i think Oof. i'm pretty sure i pass out good morning from bavaria in germany good morning rudolph how are you doing real adolf a dwarf real adorf. real good morning the rocket slid hit like 47 G when the US was first experimenting with G forces. Wow. Is it possible to produce an electromagnetic force field to shield from projectiles? Um, depends on the type of projectile coming towards you. All right. If it's not ferrous, like if it doesn't, if you can't deflect it with electromagnetics, right? Like electromagnetics won't do anything with a wood projectile like as far as i know anyway you use a bow and arrow with a wood tip i go through 57 g when i roll out of bed each morning anything less let's get stuff and true hey chicho ning bubber ning bubber brubber 33 how are you doing love from canada awesome i'm in canada too what are your thoughts on uh micro dosing psychedelics such as psilocybin Bit off topic sorry <laughs> it's just a tad but it is from nature uh yeah if if you're an adult are you an adult i don't know if you're an adult you have the right as far as i'm concerned you should have the right to experiment with your own body your own mind and your own state of being uh, just read up on it and educate yourself and make sure you're not injuring yourself or harming anyone else and you know what it is that you're doing a lot of you know you tell this to people but a lot of people don't do research because our education system sucks so a lot of people have come out of high school or come out of any type of school without really realizing what research and education and a pursuit of scientific <laughs> like studies means right if you're going to experiment on yourself you have to approach it on a scientific basis right you go slow you take it easy you read you research you look at other people's trip reports you read them you heed all the warnings right and if you're an adult if you're you have even a minutest amount of common sense you should be able to manage your own life right aside from that uh ding bobber 33 if you go to bit shoot our bit shoot channel i don't know if bit shoot we have a short thing on here or not bit shoot oh right on our bit shoot comes up if you if you go to the bit shoot channel my top three videos on bit shoot are about entheogens so we've done three live streams on entheogens so there's about six hours of entheogen discussion up there that you might enjoy and at some point we'll probably do them again okay just got to make sure we're not burning any bridges in regards to twitch and they're they're not being uploaded to youtube i, I doubt it i don't think i've uploaded them to youtube got to get off the dairy bro mm. 
feta cheese. And you can get the uh, goat feta too, but yogurt is amazing. Okay, new here. At what point are we right now? At what point are we right now? Uh, at the beginning stages? <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> it seems like a lot of people that use to write code with did a lot of microdosing. A lot of people have done microdosing. A lot of scientists, a lot of field metal, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of. Six years now, never felt so good. Yeah, I'm 24. Been doing it for a while after doing some research. Oh, great, thanks. I'll check out the Bitchu stuff. Okay, good thing. And by the way, Ding, remember, you can't do one thing forever. Your body will shut down, you'll die, right? You feel stronger when you do certain entheogens, right? But those entheogens specifically target certain organs, right? They put pressure on certain organs. So you don't want to be on something, addicted to anything, right? You want to give your body a rest, recoup, break, process the information. If you're constantly like, just take it like this if, if you like reading books and if you never after you finish a book so you start a book you read, read read get to the end last page right if you don't close that book and try to process that book and relive that book a little bit in your memory to get the most out of it and if you end up as soon as you finish the last page you grab the next book and open up the next page and start reading as if it's a continuous thing you could do that right but the stories will get all meshed up and you'll go insane right treat entheogens the same way if you're doing power if you're experimenting with powerful foods uh, entheogens then you need time to process that information fast car good evening good evening by the way thank you for the follows thank you for the subs if i miss them i usually don't each one uh i just thank you for the support okay that's a given by the way i get them from an organic farm and bv bv what was bv chicho should you trip on some entheogens and do a stream you should trip on some entheogens and do a stream <laughs> personally it wouldn't be my first choice <laughs> Like megadose on life 24 7 that's the best entheogen right bc bc haha <laughs> i thought you want to have a discussion so tell me at what point you are at right now you just give nice infos for other people at what point am i at i don't know what that means beer perverser I'm working my way to becoming uh, an elder based on the Mayan calendar. Thanks for the advice. I don't do it very often and very small doses. Gold, golden teacher, psilocybin, cubenzies, cubenzies, cubenzies for sure. I try and set an intention and learn from each dose. Setting as well is good. Space stuff is so interesting to me. Uh, it's a field that will never close and will never be fully uh, optimized. I also think that the high contrast of space is beautiful. Yeah, Captain Hogg, I'm with you. Uh, space was one of the first things that really intrigued me about this, this existence. It was incredible. You just look up into the sky. What is going on? Right? Twice cooked pork. How are you doing? Every time I read your name, I feel like having pulled pork. Hello, Chicho. What language do you know? Languages? Uh, English? <laughs> I only read and write English, but I also speak uh, Armenian and Farsi. And I'm semi literate in the language of mathematics. I know I ask this a lot, Chicho, but what's the best way to support you? Uh, I love you, Spider Man. The best way, I think, is through Patreon. Um, 
if if it's financially the only tri tripping chicho does nowadays is crab apples <laughs> and a lot of them <laughs> Oh, funny but as far as support goes spider-man being here conversation fantastic sharing my info fantastic and stuff um, but patreon through patreon uh, is the least amount of uh, when funds get transferred uh, to my account it's the least amount of uh, payments I end up making right direct donations through PayPal are good but PayPal takes a bigger chunk bigger percentage of those direct donations right uh, Twitch takes 50% of the sub things. Uh, YouTube, I'm gonna, you know, I've been off, you know, given the okay to make the join thing on YouTube, uh, and I will be setting it up. And for that one, YouTube takes 30%. So it's all about the percentage, right? If it's funds related, if it's not funds related, thank you for being here. Thank you for the conversation. Thank you for passing the love. Thank you for the communication, the comments, the likes, and all that right i take everything as being support if you guys enjoy my work fantastic if you can afford to donate uh, send funds fantastic even better right i can upgrade to, 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 to faster 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 right but again bill hicks style right 420 420 um timeline we're living right uh, we'll get it all done no rush as long as everybody's go good with this pace space is re is really is the final frontier yeah it's alien but that's what's captivating about it i really wish i could support you more if i was a billionaire i paid you billions. <laughs> i love you spider-man thanks <laughs> we get a copy of action comics number one for you and me and detective uh, 27 for you and me an amazing fantasy maybe i don't think we would we could do a lot set up studios and build communities that create content that deep blow away any of these centralized institutions right build organic farms and that'd be amazing right what is going to happen when the house bubble pops the house bubble is popping slowly here in bc what's going to happen uh, a lot of things i guess on what front sleepy waves what area of mathematics do you work in i teach made uh, fresh daily i just teach high school mathematics my background is uh, geophysics and I, ha I got a minor in mathematics and i've been teaching math for like 20 years or if you do not actively work in one which are you most interested in you know what i'm most interested in teaching math uh, I, I I went a little into it um, and I liked the geophysics aspect I like the hands-on aspects of the mathematics I was doing right hence geophysics and my work as a geophysicist but once I started teaching mathematics man I won't go back to uh, there's there's really nothing else that I fancy to do right video game stream when suru i've started looping uh sort of bouncing you know on my to-do list to bring my games out my video my pc and uh, console games out in the next couple of months i'll try to get that done and then try to set it up so we can uh, do a little gaming <coughs> farsi is on the list of languages to learn i hear it's easy to learn it, it's easier than english i'm pretty sure english was very difficult to learn um, i'm not sure how how easy farsi is to tell you the truth there's two types of farsi there's very formal farsi and then there's the way you talk with friends and stuff like my vocabulary is very limited so chicho with billions is a good super villain origin story <laughs> a 
get yourself uh train yourself a sc- uh, build yourself a school of assassins right i knew that i remembered you from somewhere it's from the youtube comic book community about five years ago yeah trollers and probably <laughs> i'm still putting them out <laughs> suru i believe he said he will be doing one once he gets the funds uh from support from us or something along that but don't quote me on something along that like right now i'm i'm firing on all cylinders right um i can't really do much more than what i'm doing with things i have right i need to bring somebody else into the mix and to do that i need to make sure i have enough funds to uh compensate them for their work and there's no way i'm gonna bring someone in on a pro bono basis it's just uh, this is my love it does it doesn't my passion it's not necessarily their passion right watch the leak video of the new batman movie by sneaky mom on youtuber was it good uh, i've heard an amazing fantasy 15 amazing spider-man number one in my hand i've ha- i've held amazing spider Man one not the fantasy that's very good i still have to finish your comic book video once i have the time i've just been so busy ah, no rush it'll be there it, it was a great comic book video uh the ebay one is good just to let you know how that transaction went but the one where i'm showing you the comic book haul i really like that one i spent a lot of time on that one uh, because i was putting up the people's the creators faces and i you know i was trying to make sure everything fit in in a nice fluent manner right very cool edging in next generation is a great pursuit i love it man i i can honestly tell you when you change improve people's lives uh kids lives that the centralized system has written off there's nothing like it the power you feel that you just gave another human being the opportunity uh to live uh, is amazing i guess i want to understand how the bubble burst unfold unfolds itself does it mean that the price values drop and then people lose their their money a lot of people but remember in every transaction there's two two parts some people buy some people sell right it goes both ways okay wow i'm missing a lot of chat i'm gonna scroll down a little bit eight white faced bad guys attack a jogger eight white face oh no is it martin tell me no i have no idea to be honest i've been thinking about getting a math tutor because my algebra teacher uh, don't really teach do you recommend getting an older tutor or a high high school tutor who is one of my uh, brother's friends uh captain hawk it's you might have to try different people right age is irrelevant um their degree is irrelevant how long they've been doing it is irrelevant right you you'll know when you start working with the right person because the mathematics it'll just click with you right um you can try your brother's friend okay maybe your brother's friend really wants to be a teacher and they're very passionate about it and you'll be the first student so they'll give you 120 percent right but if it doesn't work with a person look for someone else okay look for someone else do you have a favorite mountain dew flavor chicho or chat mountain dew i don't drink mountain dew i have in the past and as far as i knew there was only one flavor (laughs) that's how long ago it was what are your thoughts on fake meat no we asked about this no i wouldn't fake meat came up uh last stream i i personally wouldn't need it ethical sustainable i don't think it's sustainable because it'll be centralized ethical i don't know what they're doing in the background south park by the way i mentioned this uh, yesterday's stream as well south park did a fantastic episode on that on this right where carton comes out and says you know he says gang because they changed from the cafeteria meat uh cafeteria food from um having meat to being vegetarian and cartman went and saw the industrial thing that they were doing and he told all the kids 
kids guys i don't care the food tastes good and it's industrialized and it's not healthy for you so he's pro that garbage right sorry if i mosquitoed about the gaming stream misquoted no uh, spider-man you didn't misquote um I, I, i've been meaning to do that for two years now mountain do shine oh wow missed a lot of chat let's check it out let's check it out i'm gonna scroll down to see i'll post a pic of me holding them in the discord you got pictures of you holding amazing spider-man number one and amazing fantasy number 15 <laughs> dude i wish i took a picture of me holding amazing spider-man number one god dang it <laughs> voltage i assume you mean that's my favorite as oh this is mountain dew time voltage hey it's chicho how are you the three stooges how's it going as a mathematician with a bit of experience in tutoring i think if you know of someone near your age who understands the subject well then they will always be more effective in communicating with you than an older tutor as you get older this matters less but i think it makes a significant difference until later high school early university um oh so you're talking uh, early education elementary school education and stuff like this uh, it, it depends where you are it really depends where you are if you're getting someone to help you they as um, made fresh fresh daily mentions they have to know the material well ideally the best type of tutor to get if you're going around your age group is someone who's at least one grade or two grades above you because and they're good at math because that way they'll know how how what you're studying now relates to what they're doing so they might be able to plant seeds for the following years they'll be able to connect the dots right so that's really important as well amazing spider number one was even signed by stan lee Damn. dr p how are you doing blue looks like widow cleaner which is okay this is mountain dew talk mountain dew talk i agree with chicho about that though it really does ultimately only matter if you click with their understanding or not in my experience that seems to happen more frequently with working with working uh with someone closer to your age experience level yeah for me i can honestly tell you like i'm a like i'll i'm not going to be humble i'm a phenomenal math teacher tutor right like phenomenal but even my success rate is not 100 percent. i'm like 95 percent of people that i work with they look at mathematics by the time we're done in a completely different light in a more positive light all right but i don't mesh with everyone five percent right or ten percent so find the right person and never be be afraid to move from one teacher one tutor to another tutor right <laughs> serious mountain do <Dew> talk hi <laughs> good night sky unicorn 23 how are you doing spider-man i posted it in comics folder in discord be warned i took it about four years ago nice okay spider-man awesome looking forward to checking it out Haha, uh -huh, Chicho, you really do have pretty good insight into math education. I'm good at it, man. I'm, and you know why I'm good at it? Because I got angry, right? This is. Let me tell you why I'm good at it. I'm good at it because when I started, I just started tutoring. Just just as a hobby. Like I did a little bit in the '90s, right? Just as a hobby, and then I got really busy, and then I started up again in early 2000s, right? Like literally 2000 something like that right and when i started tutoring i would have students kids ask me questions and i was like i didn't know the answer i just knew how to do it but i didn't know why we did it right and then i started learning the whys i went home and i went online i started reading books and i tried to figure out why certain things were the way they were in mathematics that's when i really began to learn math understand math 
and that really got me pissed right because i went through high school and i took chemistry 12 physics 12 math 12 as high school in i took all the sciences except biology right i went to university honors co-op geophysics program with a minor in mathematics and i only realized that it, I didn't really understand mathematics until I started teaching mathematics. And when I started finding out the reasons why we did certain things, math blew me away, right? And I got pissed because the education system had not taught me this. How is it possible that I was not taught this, right? And long story short, 20 years later, I'm still doing this, making videos, creating content, and I plan on doing this until the end of my days because... Uh, people need to be literate in the language of mathematics really uh, and it's for, for very selfish reasons i think one of the reasons that we're having so many problems in our societies is because people are illiterate in the language of mathematics and they're letting centralized power and authority fool them into signing their own death warrants right insanity insanity right that's my little rant on Valentine's Day, I met a wonderful woman. Her name was Valerie Dubois. I call her. <laughs> Three stooges. <sighs> Too funny. Great to see with how many teachers are subpar these days. Yeah. Yeah, so many. I can't say I've ever had a great math teacher in my educational history. Most of mine have been pretty bad. Fascar, the only math teacher that I can say was a great teacher was not because she taught mathematics well. It was because she was an amazing human being. And I had her in grade nine. And she was like a, you know, four foot nun. That just amazing human being, right? And she was just a great teacher. I've never had a fantastic math teacher ever right very unfortunate i am in my 20s and all my friends happen to always be older than me late 20s i feel like when people find out my age it sometimes shocks bothers them i feel like people just fill in the space of age with their own expectations and punctuations to be honest sleepy waves yes and that's a product of our ed education system, right? But no math teacher I've, I've had has ever made me want to learn math, more math. Only Chicho has. Nice. Thanks for the compliment, Fascar. <laughs> I can see why Fascar, he seems to look at it in a very few math teachers or, or professors do and communicates that knowledge well. Oh, thank you for the compliments made fresh daily thank you for the compliments nyuk 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 the three stooges for sure most math teachers i've had very clearly don't enjoy teaching it no and fast car i don't blame them there's a reason why i'm not teaching in a centralized education system right because i wouldn't last a week in there I'd be teaching stuff and centralized power would come tell me, hey, you can't teach that. And I'd tell them to go F off and I'd get fired. <laughs> I've just cut, cut that crap out and just gone directly to teaching, All right? Schools don't teach you what math is. No, they don't. Schools are teaching people monkey see, monkey do, All right? That being said, it's very, 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 very important to make sure you have at least minimum your high school diploma, right? And if you really want to have freedom, then you need to pursue something, right? Maybe apprenticeship, maybe educating yourself, maybe creating business. You need to, you need to learn. As soon as you come out of high school, uh, consider the next two years of your life education because you should you should be spending the next two years of your life when you come out of high school educating yourself aside from you know a month or two months of partying because you just got out of jail schools don't teach yep i understand numbers better than letters but i'm my uh techniques are unorthodox but effective cool as long as they work
Sleepy wave. How is it that due to centralized education? How is that due to centralized education? Because uh, when you when you centralize power, that central power becomes corrupt. One of the reasons it becomes corrupt because the way you centralize power is basically f directing a lot of funds from communities to the central location. So anyone that wants a piece of that pie goes to the central location and it's easier to corrupt one person, five people, than it is a thousand, right? It's just mathematics, really. Restrictive curriculum, yeah, among other things, among other things. Like just, uh, you know, there's an, I wish I had it handy. There's an article that um, Richard Feynman wrote and it wasn't an article, it was part of a book uh, he wrote because Richard Feynman, he, he was an American physicist, one of the best, best world renowned physicists in, uh, uh, from the United States. He's world renowned, right? And he went on the school board um, or the board of education where they were approving textbooks for all of California. And he wrote about his experiment, uh, experience there, right? Totally corrupt to the core. To fix the education system, administer Mountain Dew, among other things. Think of the Common Core system. Many states here in the U.S. have, yeah. Math is taught unit by unit, and if a student falls behind in a certain unit, they're left behind to fail, yeah. And our education system is based on age. What? Like, seriously, how old is everyone here on this chat that we're talking right now? We're spanning i'm 50 plus i know there are 40 somethings may might be here 30 somethings 20 something and teens right we're spanning 40 years and we're communicating sharing information there are things that i know better than you there are things that you know better than me there's things that you know that are better than someone else on chat so we share information and we learn together our centralized education system takes everybody and puts them in an age group if that was the case right now during the stream only 50 plus year olds could be on my stream ridiculous right we're getting some numbers here let's read out the numbers 23 46 21 18 22 awesome 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 where's the 30s at we need some 30 rap here <laughs> a 20 lima awesome right crazy centralized education destroys the love of learning yep that's one way of putting it as well just like organized religion destroys faith perfectly said right and the love is missing <laughs> Zuru, 573 87 <laughs> dot, 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 35 awesome we got 35s 30s representing my mother is a elementary school teacher and she went over all of math education they've revamped in california over the past few years with me it seems as bad if not worse than before yeah made fresh daily i've been doing this for 20 years on a permanent basis it's collapsed in the last 15 like totally collapsed in the last 15 just pure garbage i have seen this happen very sad yeah that's exactly right for sure it's happened to me under the principle of reincarnation i'm infinite years old are you sure infinite i don't think infinite the universe is only 14 billion years old so you must have existed in other universes 34 took the advanced biology barely covered evolution <laughs> really hilarious some lies here i reckon some lies i think the 573 and the 87 might be a little exaggeration oh wait the numbers were supposed to be our ages <laughs> funny what are you guys snacking on i got cheese and sangak toasted up I thought it was bottles of Mountain Dew around us currently. 
while we're at it copenhagen interpolation of many worlds interpolation while we're at it copenhagen interpret interpretation of many worlds interpretation we are watching the collapse of an empire mm -hmm. chicho you have actually inspired me to work on the proofs for tuesday that i have been putting on awesome i'm a good math motivator i was born in 78 so i've seen six decades 70s 80s 90s uh, the 2000s 2010s and 2020s nice laura we know i'm 20 awesome good stuff man good age mix i like it all right Ginatos Gala environment where to move move for best future proof economic opportunities um, if climate change is, is considered any place that any place that doesn't have a long-term plan for water sustainability uh you should get out of those places right water is going to be crucial and climate change is, you know it could go hot cold it's it's undecided right we could go be going into a mini ice age it could be getting warmer we're going to see extremes we are going to see extremes no matter which way we go right we're going to see more flooding we're going to see more droughts we're going to see more cold spells more heat spells right some of the northern parts of the world the northern hemisphere some places that used to be permafrost it's possible that it's some of it is not being permafrost anymore that's going to create a fair bit of economic turmoil right because if that's going on there people that were living their lives based on that area being on a permafrost zone the roads have to be rebuilt like a lot of things have to be rebuilt right access is going to decrease and whatnot and if that's happening there in the equatorial regions right near the equator near desert regions and stuff like this they might become more de um, they might see more desertification desertification right so you have to look into specific areas i personally wouldn't live too close you know if you if you have a house right on the waterfront uh, you probably want to move right sell the house while you can if you're living in a floodplain and a lot of towns are built in floodplains which is absolutely insane to me uh look into the frequency of the flooding right are you in an area where the water levels is dropping so you're going to get the river uh, peaks are decreasing or are you in a place where you're going to get flash flooding occurring more frequently right so look into the geography of where you live right water is important right clean air is important like i if you live in a city with 20 million people and you have to wear a face mask to go out and there's you know warnings at least once a week or once a month telling people to stay indoors because the air quality is not good you probably don't want to stay there too long right that's gonna cause some serious health effects if you can help it that is right there's gonna be an ice age soon mini ice age possibly it's a possibility yeah water is important to me as well it's the most necessary human need yeah and topsoil is important also don't forget climate migration putting strain on places yeah huge climate refugees is going to increase and we're not talking into the millions we're talking into the tens of millions right we're going to see huge and we're already seeing it but it's just going to go up orders of magnitude right we're gonna see it hannah how are you doing earth will become venus i heard mm, that's uh, fear-mongering 
evolved tree shrew evolved tree shrew that's fear mongering i think last username chicho will any areas become more habitable yeah northern northern canada will become more habitable once we figure out what's going on with the permafrost right uh russia is getting so northern countries are going to become more livable there's going to be more access right if the temperatures are increasing because first of all it's going to free up some topsoil right well i don't know if free up some topsoil but there's going to be potential for more topsoil to be created right the temperatures aren't going to decrease as much the rule of three what's the rule of three uh, martin water air soil water air soil yeah uh, evil tree uh shrew um what do you call it uh, you can't post links the only people that can post links are mon and myself if you want to share information our discord page is where you want to be <laughs> people are having a party downstairs is there what do you call it the housewarming party i had a i had a one one group come here and knock on my door thinking that it was here and then they ran away and went the other place for me it's the rule of two sith master and sith apprentice <laughs> can we post the post the links uh links on discord only michael spock how are you doing how's life i hope you guys are enjoying your sunday evening munch on something salt well feta cheese that has salt in it as far as what was the link that i wanted to find you here let me see if i can find you the link i'm just going to my site i'm gonna uh, i'm just going to my site and uh, i went to the ed education folder right and uh excerpts from three articles here let me click on this i think this is it here here's a just a piece i compiled together and it's basically a call that excerpts from three articles on education dorothy sayers richard p Feynman, john taylor gatto okay and the article that i mentioned with richard Feynman writing about textbooks how textbooks are chosen is in that and john taylor gatto is always worth reading uh, regarding education uh, the other person is krishna morty krishna morty on education education and the significance of life at that time when i wrote that thing i don't think i'd read krishna morty yet it's monday here oh yeah it's monday for you martin that's right as long as i'm above ground i can't complain yep pick up the webcam grab some treats and crash the house party with set treats and filming <laughs> no it's okay i don't i try not to impose on people that's for sure not excited for classes tomorrow luckily the semester will be over before i know it it will be i prescribe to the parallel universe or multiverse theory yeah but i also hypothesize uh, hypothesize the existence of multiple universes arranged in energy frequency orbital around the source similar to the air energy orbitals of electrons around an atom uh, one thing uh, that intrigues me uh, jenna is uh, dark matter and dark energy right i always i always say this and it's half truth to a certain degree but mix it with enthusiasm there's possibilities right uh, 95 percent, 90 percent of the mass of the universe is not accounted for right a majority of it is dark energy and there's dark matter so right now we can only interact with like five percent ten percent of the mass of the universe what's the other 90 percent we don't know it could be what's between us right so 
there could be parallel realities that are right here they're just phase shift right and if you have the ability or if you're interact with the right type of foods you might be able to phase shift in those universes realities and phase out again right there's so many possibilities that is one it's already monday afternoon 1 27 p.m mick dot 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 australia yeah i saw this amazing drone of a device that literally poops out a cube of organic soil and allows trees to be planted at an alarmingly fast rate way faster than doing so by hand they are using them in burnt forests in australia it's a nw company too by the way uh, nw i'm not sure what nw is it's, i wanted to say new zealand but it's not new zealand nw this could be a new way to fight climate change plant a lot more trees to suck out the co2 not a not a perm solution but a good start good start and co2 is not the only problem we have right water is huge australia <clears throat> must be martin the multiverse many worlds theory is what i support as well can't say i know too many specifics past that no only one what he called it grand morrison has written <laughs> wait krishnamurti yeah who dissolved the order of the stars or someone else who dissolved the order uh J judu krishnamurti i don't know who dissolved the order of the stars or, or someone else uh, i don't know who what that is if he did that or not i'm living in taiwan Taiwan nice Taiwan number one <laughs> if so he has great thoughts on freedom which is something I know you value very much. yeah ding we were talking about the same person Krishnamurti education and the significance of life very very important book for any educator to read for any parent to read I think it should be mandatory reading personally Chicho did you see the study on uh, expectorator aerosols expectorate or aerosols expectorate aerosols in china uh, chinese atmos atmosphere working to carry 19 ncov droplets over long distances no i haven't seen this i don't know what re this refers to is this the uh, coronavirus stuff what are they doing if they're working to carry are they trying to carry it mm. all of it seems scary to me sorry i figured that out i lived in hong kong for seven years nice dark matter uh, speculated to be called axions really chicho do you know any singapore politics mm, not really no no sleepy waves sorry i not specific i know the general what's going on but not s narrow than singapore just asia sorry had to take the take the dog out i'm back welcome back you have to pick up poop <laughs> totally off topic but i want to mention that i was watching some of your older videos not too long ago now that i know how to eat them uh I've become a pomegranate eating machine. <laughs> nice, <laughs> Michael Smog. I haven't this year. I missed the pomegranate season, man. I can't believe it. We ended up getting like three pomegranates, and I was waiting for the big bash. But then I got, I got the flu. I didn't go to the like, pomegranate source, and the pomegranates are gone. Pomegranates. I didn't get like full of pomegranates this year. I'm very disappointed in myself. You should make a video explaining the plank length theory well i made a video talking about the plank length do chicho and plank and uh, in DuckDuckGo or any search engine you want a video should pop up we did a northwest ah, northwest anna okay 
NW is Northwest. There are many multiverse theories, many. I like the membrane theory as well. String theory, M theory, membranes. It was him. It was him. Nice. A phenomenal read. I've read that book three times. And by the way, Ding Bobber, if you do a search for Chicho and Krishnamurti, we have a video out there reading excerpts of Krishnamurti's education and the significance of life. Okay. So I think it's that important. I'm referring specifically to the many worlds theory. Though the multiverse uh, theory is its own theory, just less specific to how the universes are organized. What to think about subquantum kinetic theory? Can't say I know much of it, though, to be honest. Judeo is who you are both talking about, but there is also Yuji uh, Krishnamurti who worked in a similar. Uh, Theo, theosophical vein theosophical there's also the mathematician too right i think it was krishnamurti the mathematician who was self-trained self-taught i will become the one i'm very new to the idea of quantum physics he krishnamurti was groomed to be a world teacher and became the leader of the order of the star but had the audacity to dissolve the order as he saw it as more centralization and continuation of old ideas and ways of thinking. Awesome. Yeah, I heard that too. Full respect to him, right? Decentralization is the way to go. And yes, I'm referring to the Wuhan chrono coronavirus. Are you? made? Can you um, made freshly daily? On our Discord page, we've been sharing the coronavirus uh, information in the science folder under heavy topics. Uh, if you're on our Discord page, for sure post a link there. I'll, I'll have a read through it. Uh, otherwise, I might not remember <laughs> to, uh, to, uh, to follow this up. I'm, I'm following that. I'm looking at the data. We saw the jump and leveling down. I don't trust the data at all. The number of infections in India has been sitting at three for over a week now. Who in who thinks that there's only three infections in India in a stable in a week? I doubt it. Good luck, friend. I still love the pomegranate salad dressing you posted. Nice. <laughs> so tasty. <laughs> Chicho and planking, Chicho and planking. The pomegranate apple chocolate video was a highlight for me. Nice. Oh man, I'm missing pomegranates. I didn't get pomegranate filled this year. I gotta go search out. I gotta go pay peak price to get myself some pomegranates. Awesome. We'll check it out. Cool, cool, cool. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, fast car. CV is, if you please. CV. Okay. CV because it's being uh, we're not supposed to talk about it is that what's going on I don't know what's going on there's a lot of banning of words and, and stuff so CV I know uh, like YouTube is demonetizing any videos that talk about CV so all the stuff we put on on CV demonetize and some of them all of a sudden they drop in views <laughs> <laughs> like filtering stuff so cv okay martin i'll stay on topic too on on course as well cv and they gave it a new name sorry if i've opened up a open wound regarding your recent pomegranate loss i know did not know of this martin interesting yeah they're the sensors are kicking in hardcore right it's crazy is this related to filters in the West as well? Uh, I think so. In a big way, information is being diverted, filtered, throttled. Mint and ginger tea sweetened with honey. Very delicious. I pounded this thing back. 
have you seen any new projections about the possible infection uh, projections for CV? Uh, Jenna, I've been following every day. I'm updating the table because the odds are in about a week or 10 days or two weeks, we'll look at the data again. But the data is inaccurate, what's being released. I, I have not very much faith in the accuracy of the data okay i think the numbers are much higher than what is being reported projections are 100 million million billion million thousand million million your <laughs> infections give <or> think. <laughs> sort of <laughs> especially the west especially the west eh? yeah yeah there, there's something going on there's something going on good idea to start pre preparing to an extent in advance of the disease yeah get yourself supplies and it's always good to have because they're not perishable and it's better to be safe than sorry get yourself toothpaste get yourself toilet paper get yourself some iodized salt right get yourself some foods that last a while i think i think i need to start keeping a folder with all of these documents downloaded because it is becoming increasingly difficult to find things that have i've seen previously which would fit in with this censoring idea yeah and by the way the internet 20 years ago was no way as controlled and filtered as it is now there is stuff that i read 20 years ago that you can't find anywhere online and there were amazing bits of information right long and depth articles written by aficionados historians analysts just independent thought that is gone just poof right so uh, the one thing we really need to do is to make sure we do not lose this free flowing information open internet otherwise we're back to not a good period in human history chicho is meditation a part of your life i haven't been doing it much lately but many times have attained totally blissful states just by uh, quieting my mind and not listening to thoughts just being being awareness it is something that relieves my stress anxiety centers and focuses me need to start a routine again um, ding bobber uh, i've done meditation in the past i'm not doing it right now i haven't done it for a while but i do quiet my mind for me the meditation i go through right now it's because i'm in full production mode i'm very i'm you know i have a lot of things going on and i like it this way right and this is what i do i go in waves right but right now my meditation is basically going for walks right and i go for two hour walks hour and a half to two three hour walks and stuff like this so i do walking meditation i'm not doing quiet uh, still meditation i'm doing movement meditation right uh, but i've done different types of meditation in the past and i highly recommend it and i've been meaning to get back into one of them which was just a it was a tai chi standing meditation that i did for a very short period in my life for like a couple of months i did it and it was absolutely amazing and at some point we'll, i will get back into it and when i do i'll share uh we might live stream it maybe we do together right we do whatever meditation you guys do your end i'll do mine my end i'm going to get into doing some of the exercises i go through uh, we'll get there i work in a bar close to government buildings i get a lot of information oh martin i bet you do oh people talk you put a you put a you put a couple of couple of shots a little bit of 
music and a little bit of eye candy around and relax people people talk they like to talk i mean look at us right if the disease is nothing then it's stuff you can just eat away if the disease is something serious then you're more prepared 100 percent. and by the way a lot of people have been comparing this to the flu and whatnot you can't compare this to the flu okay this disease is not the flu this thing is or this virus this thing is hitting specific organs so people who get it their recoup time is a lot longer and some people may not be able to recoup to 100 percent, right so it's uh, that's from some of the stuff i've read right you're recalling a pre-monetized internet pre-monetized internet michael spock yes 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 and i personally don't like the monetization of the internet being filtered to more centralized institutions that's not what the internet was about right so divesting and distributing is the best way to go and some of it is just patterns i see online yeah have you heard of orbit orbit no i don't know what orbit is like those sufi whirling videos you did oh yeah the sufi whirling yeah i tried the swirling well from um farima when i was talking with her she showed me how to do stuff i couldn't do i got dizzy right that's also meditation yeah yeah for sure surah yeah chicho have you oh my god it's like the flu or oh yeah sure china is going to rip the heart out of your uh out of their own economy on the fly just over the flu yeah it's not the flu all right and be warned there's going to be an economic shock wave coming from this right how how harsh it is really depends on where you are and how the the money from that region has affected your area okay thanks for your insight chicho glad i joined the stream and asked if you could my pleasure ding ding bobber thank you for popping in strangely i was watching a tai chi video on on uh, youtube martial arts uh, nice folder today on your youtube ah oh, you were watching the uh the tai chi stuff i i shot those were one of the first set of videos i loaded on youtube right i knew i wanted to get into this i wanted to start putting out videos on youtube i had the opportunity to go to this event and uh, and some of those people that you see they're like master liang and his daughter and the the the, the uh, son-in-law and stuff like this they're considered some of the like they're very well known right so i just recorded it and went home well why do i edit so oh, edit wow cool edit video nice oh load these on youtube dick, 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 dick. we're advising our clients to put everything they've got into canned food and shotguns <laughs> <laughs> I do Wing Chun, Chun Wing Chun, nice. Which is similar to Tai Chi, very cool, very cool. I gotta get into Tai Chi. I got into a little bit, but I gotta get into. I gotta get into full load. A guy by the name of Curtis Yarwin wrote a blog in the past entitled "The Unqualified Reservations." under the pseudonym Mercinius Moldbug and he later founded a decentralized computing company called Orbit oh really which is similar oh, Orbit so is this uh, Linux based Unix it's open source decentralized computing company is is that what we're talking about all right i'm back fast car rambo hey what's up buddy how's it going rambo any any cool movies lately by the way i've uh, i sent this out as a sort of a notice uh 
Blue Gender, someone recommended it as animation series to watch. I watched it, finished it. Fantastic. Okay, great sci-fi. Blue Gender. Oh, sorry. Blue Genetic. Not gender. Blue Genetic. Okay. Fantastic series. It's from 1999-2000. And I finished uh, Goblin Slayer. Fantastic. Super fun. Not for kids. Not for kids. I took Tai Chi last semester. Got 110% in the class. You can get percentages from Tai Chi? Oddly, you don't see uh, Tai Chi. <laughs> Watch Bad Boys 3 in the theater. It was really good. Really? Blue Genetic, yeah. I will investigate. It was fun. It was good sci fi. I like the premise. It was going in one direction and switched it up. I won't give any spoilers, but it was enjoyable. I really liked it. It was it was good 1999 uh, anime. It was a class at my community college. Cool. Have you ever seen The Fifth Element? Yeah, such a good movie for sure. For sure, I've seen it. Watched it a couple of times. Have you seen Dark Dark City? It's fantastic. Must watch sci-fi what's your favorite my favorite film i don't have a favorite film i can't give me a genre and i'll tell you what one of my favorite films in that genre would be i used to say for the longest time lawrence of arabia was my favorite film um, but i can't say that anymore because there's so many amazing films right sci-fi dark city would be one is fantastic fantastic film horror uh the thing from 1980s that's a fantastic horror movie really it's a software stack consisting of a few languages they develop with ethereum based addressing ah okay hard to explain conc concisely you will have to look into it when you have the time if it's interesting you. okay for sure thank you so it's uh it's blockchain based on a ethereum based addressing cool best horror film black christmas dune dune is great i right, dune 2020 i just found out about that uh, a couple of weeks ago i guess it hadn't hit my radar for some reason couldn't finish dune dune was fun the book is amazing of course it didn't live up to the book but it, as far as movie goes it was fantastic people trash talk it because they go uh you know they wanna <laughs> like <laughs> people have a hate on right i feel like also rip my shirt off I sent you that info. I sent you that info. Well, it's not out yet, so that makes sense. Doop. I'm gonna ban this guy right away. Boop, 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 boop. Ban. I know I wasn't into banning before, but some things require banning. Some things require banning. Silliness. Silliness. Wait, did I miss a troll? I, I, got, I saw the auto mod held a message back. So I just checked out the message. I'm like, nah. I don't feel like dealing with that. Right? <laughs> it's like it's a week <laughs> yeah I'm not sure if uh, the mods get the get the auto mod when it zaps it Did you? <clears throat> if you like the thing it's worth finding the making of the thing on YouTube Kurt Russell and John Carpenter reminisce about it ah cool I haven't seen it I haven't seen it yet <laughs> what about it no martin it's all good it's all good it didn't show up so i just ban it easy peasy 
what are, what are some other good horror movies oh the uh, day of the dead now oh, oh man what was it called it was fantastic uh, the remake that came out in 19 uh, in the early 2000s it was fantastic horror or oh, zombie horror movie i saw a guy in college turn 10,000 uh, k into 40 400,000 k in two weeks flipping bitcoin back in the golden days yeah he was shaking in class when he doubled his money i couldn't believe it he was 19 he was having a hard time actually getting the money out without taking huge tax taxes yeah yeah the good old days eh? <laughs> on the internet terms it was like eight years ago six years ago right a very knowledgeable friend of mine who tends to be right has been tracking transmissions transmission rates of cv based on 5g network presence in china there seems to be an interesting correlation as 5g was identified as possibly suppressing immune functions a few years ago yeah yeah most likely i find horror really funny uh, most horror exorcist is a great horror movie too old school exorcist and uh, rosemary's baby Ooh, creepy creepy for horror you have to separate between two whether you like scary jump scare horror or suspense terror horror yeah there's sub genres romantic comedy scare me <laughs> martin <laughs> i feel you brother they're so bad and scary and just some of some of them could be cute but a lot of them are frightening i agree i remember watching the purge and just laughing the whole time at the idiocy of it. <laughs> like supernatural horror is, is scary slasher is slasher right I'm, i used to be into slasher i'm not into slasher anymore you want to see a you want to you want to know a b horror movie <laughs> Actually, i can't should i even tell you this story young frankenstein is the height of horror if you ask me what do you all think about idiocy i watched it it was okay it's just a take right but it, it's more serious than that have you ever seen the sci-fi movie Brazil? What a fantastic movie. Like a lot of people say, oh, are we living in 1984 or Huxley New World Orders, uh, New World and uh, all this. Is, it, is he right? Is he right? I think Brazil's right. Right? Seems like it would mesh well with your anti-authoritarian views. Yeah, Brazil's fantastic. I'm like President Camocho, so I like idiocy i have awesome awesome brazil's awesome and i saw brazil in the theater when it came out right check this out we went on a double date i i went all four of us were friends but it was a double date because two guys two girls right so we went to brazil right and we came out of the theater i was blown away my male friend was blown away the two female friends we had they hated it they're like oh what the what piece of crap we both looked at each other looked at a girl said you guys are crazy <laughs> you guys and brazil came out in the early 19 uh early early mid 1980 uh mid 1980s right so i was fairly young and we were really all four of us were really good friends so we trash talked them a little bit right we're living in brazil brazil baby yeah we are sounds like i need to watch well fast car watch brazil if you've never two sci-fi movies that have been lit, named here that you must watch brazil well brazil sci-fi brazil sci-fi dystopian brazil and dark city two phenomenal movies highly recommend did you know that they changed the ending of brazil after the release because it was deemed too depressing what no i've only seen one version of brazil and I've watched it at least three, four times, four, four, five times. I've watched Brazil. It's a phenomenal movie. Fast and Furious is awesome. A film on real some of the physics is very important. <laughs> Bloodshot. 
coming out next month. The best films have that Marmite feeling. What's a Marmite? Marmite. I don't know what a Marmite is. But it sounds like a good feeling. Marmite feeling. Gilliam Trilogy in general is great. Time Bandits, Brazil, Baron, Montreal. Is it called a... Is it called a... a Gilliam the Monty Python guys trilogy is that what they refer to but they're not related I've seen all of them I've, I've seen time bandits was before Brazil and I haven't watched in like 30 years so I can't barely remember it and Baron uh, Manchas and I've only watched once and when it came out so I can't remember it at all loved it or F. Chicho what's the last movie you've seen in the theater in the theater in the theater uh i don't know i'm in boycott mo mode of theaters i've been in boycott mode of theaters for last oh i remember which one i saw for the last 15 years right for the last 12 years let's say right so in the last 12 years i've probably seen five movies in the theater okay uh, five six seven less than ten right before that i'd probably see like 30 movies in a year right i used to go to a movie theater a lot i've seen movies multiple times in a theater but the last one i'm pretty sure the last one i saw in the theater because uh the person i was going with or the person that wanted to see the movie uh they wanted to see it in 3d with the glasses and stuff so we went and saw aquaman and it was fun right so saw aquaman that was the last movie i saw in the theater have you seen room 237 it's a documentary that explores multiple meanings behind stanley kubrick's the shining i've seen parts of it jenna i've seen parts of it and anything stanley kubrick put out is must watch anything right i still have to sit down and watch the shining from beginning to end i haven't there's two movies i haven't finished with uh kubrick and i'm saving them right shining and there's another one I wrote an entire essay on the environment on the environment last year but i don't remember anything about it those three movies are gilliam's trilogy of life time bandits is about a boy brazil is about a man baron montreux Mont machasen is about an old man is that what it is suru i gotta watch them all three in a row now thank you for the info batman 1966 with adam west batman punches a shark off his leg while dangling from a helicopter ladder <laughs> do you mean boycott of movie studios or actual theater actual theaters right and i don't like i sample right the only money that i give disney is comic books but i buy through marvel and i've cut those back down a lot okay um I, I try to make sure I don't give any money to Hollywood. Hollywood is disgusting. <laughs> and on that note, there's absolutely no way we're going to upload this video to YouTube. <laughs> this video is only going on BitChute. <laughs> Too funny. Too funny. Seriously, I got to remember not to load this on YouTube. That film made me not awake. Uh, afraid of sharks <laughs> yeah if you can punch them do not want to ruin the ending for those who have not seen it but if you you've seen the brazil that ends on a happyish note then there also exists the original <laughs> which terry gilliam wanted to release but was not allowed to because it was too depressing wait a second the one i saw was the one that was released in the theater and that wasn't happy you had one that was even more depressing than that? No, it can't be. Anyway, uh, put this conversation out of your minds and just go watch Brazil. I watched Charlie's Angels 2019 last night. Don't do this. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> I work at a theater. Spider-Man. You know what? You know what? One of the reasons I stopped going to movie theaters, I was buying tickets, 
right the first time i saw this was in california we go visit family and stuff in la we go to the movie theater we sit down and they're showing us commercials of coca-cola i turn to relatives and friends and go what is this We're, why are we watching commercials we bought a ticket to see the movie i'm okay with tr movie trailers but why are you guys showing me commercials and they said well that's the way it works here and i'm like man in canada they don't do that right 10 years later 15 15 20 years later they started showing commercials in the movie theaters right and i told myself if they ever start showing commercials in the movie theaters i'm gonna stop going right and you have to go get your seat and stuff like this so what i did for a while is i would go in the theater i would have headphones on music i'd blast the music right i'd be blasting music so i can silence the sound from the commercials right i close my eyes and i just blast the music and i would look around every now and then and everybody's just mesmerized watching the screen of a coca-cola commercial or a military commercial there's lots of military commercials and after 9 11 right i'm like god damn i hate this right and then it blew me away really it was scary to a certain degree you look at this you're like wow man and then when the trailers would start i would take my music down but people would look at me because they could hear the headphones go and metal hardcore metal or heavy beat hip-hop right or whatever it was right and then i would take the headphones and watch the uh, trailers right but after a while i just didn't want to do that anymore right i stopped watching porn i always had a bad conscious when i watch such films yeah the theater makes little to no money each ticket uh ticket uh sold because disney takes 80 percent of ticket sales yeah and i can't that's crazy to me right that's crazy to me i stopped watching like just to let you know spider-man this is how much i love the theater and you guys will go what <laughs> like i've seen i, I went and saw matrix three times in a the theater existence three times in a the theater i saw there will be blood three times in a the theater i saw um red violin three times in it the there's multiple movies i've seen multiple times in a the theater right the movie that i've seen the most in the theater because it needed to be seen on a big screen was moulin rouge i went and saw moulin rouge 11 times in the theater okay and I told people to watch it, and they will watch it on their little TVs. And they go, oh, Chicho, I don't know why you like this movie so much. I go, well, because you have to see it on a big screen. And I've never watched it again on a small screen because it needed to be watched on a big screen, right? I stopped watching. I always had a bad conscience when I watched such films. Oh, so I should go see birds of prey instead. Ah, uh, you know what? Someone posted a comment saying birds of prey. Uh, they went with their daughter their daughter liked that they hated it all right so it's not supposed to be very good as an adult uh superhero movie birds of prey what's that you mean harley quinn <laughs> yeah harley quinn birds of prey was eh okay that was that was okay actually yeah i just borrow movies from my local library and watch them at home now save so much money no ads yeah frozen fish potato i was get i was going to the library as well getting a lot of movies out then but then i there's sampling available online i use an app to watch latest movies yeah me too i'm like martin i use an app i don't mind the commercials too much personally don't care to watch them but better than looking at looking at a blank screen while waiting for the movie to start really i hate it i can't stand it I go to go because you paid for the ticket right but i guess the as spider-man says the movie theaters don't make any money so they need to run the commercials to make money right that's crazy i go to google type in movie name online free and see what i find and then i dump gasoline on my computer have a barbecue i still remember the cigarette commercials in movie theaters as a child 1999 was a great year for movies they don't do that in canada that's nuts 
advertisers pay so much money to have their commercials shown in front of in front of movie the coca-cola wants consumers to buy more coke is propagandist bullshit but people absolutely love their sugar water drink i've been i've been screamed at before when we run out of coke you guys run out of coke wow they love that crap eh? oh yeah by the way coca-cola if you if you if you get cavities right teeth if you get cavities stop drinking coca-cola or any pop and the odds are you'll most likely reduce the number of cavities you get or you get no cavities coca-cola is just acidic toxin that people consume the theater bit there reminds me of this time at canada's wonderland i've been there a long time ago where the seats moved around to make the action on screen more lifelike i look back at everyone <laughs> the seats were all moving in unison uh -huh. similar but more uh comical than depressing that's cool that would be comical i have never seen mr birds of prey was actually not bad at all spider-man it wasn't bad that's hilarious it wasn't bad thumbs up you're a comic book guy good worth going or worth sampling the person that commented on the youtube video said it wasn't very good works every time but need to get a new computer every time i watched interstellar all the way through today for the first time and it was the first time i almost cried at a movie since i was four with uh, finding nemo nice captain hawk interstellar was a good movie and 2001 space odyssey phenomenal right i do have an unlimited movie card for my local cinema 18 pounds a month really for 18 pounds you unlimited movies man they don't offer that here certainly a powerful film interstellar was a good movie I definitely identify with Chicho about avoiding commercials. After not seeing a commercial in two years, I watched a run of them before a mainstream movie, and by the end, I felt like the world had gone crazy. Yeah, that's the way I feel as well. All right, I'm going to head to bed. Great stream as always, Chicho. Sweet dreams, Fascar. Sweet dreams. Thanks for uh, being here. Pff, teeth are for the weak coca-cola runs through my veins <laughs> take care fast car made fresh daily says it's like those moments at the cinema you won't forget like i am your father i am your father i'm amazed that uh, the spoiler wasn't leaked more uh when we saw them uh what do you call it empire strikes back i ran numbers with some people from uh corporate one day and if movie theater won and if movie theaters one one didn't show advertisements and two didn't charge a ton for concessions movie theaters could not sustain enough money and would all go out of business then disney would just build movie theaters is that what it is every time i hear anything about disney i want to cancel all my marvel pull list right i want to stop buying marvel but i love the character so much that i do partake in some of that right the monopoly power is that it's the our centralized governments have given these mega corporations is unbelievable unbelievable right that's crazy name a worse corporation than nestle disney I was only seven apple microsoft pick a pick pick one they have boars of the same thing All right worse than nesty lockheed martin how about halliburton All right i was only seven years old i missed it importance until later oh you missed this morning until later ah that's right i am your father luke 
I'm gonna follow Fascar and head to bed. Okay, Captain Hawk. Great stream. Wish me luck getting braces. Oh, good luck. Good luck. I've never had to do so. I oh anything teeth related or put braces on. Good luck though. Good luck. And sweet dreams. Facebook bear bear. Monsanto. It's tough to say. Uh, so Spider-Man says, Chicho, it's tough to say. The movie is fine, personally, as as my opinion. It was terribly advertised as a social justice warrior superhero girl team, but the humor and action is there. And Margaret Robbie is Harley Quinn to a T. Is it? Okay. Okay, I will definitely watch. Spider-Man, on your recommendation, I will definitely watch. Not in the theater, but I will definitely watch okay thank you for that i like getting the two perspectives right mcdonald's monsanto the actual movie is a cool popcorn dc flick there's a lot of cool moments is there ah, also i like the birds of prey the comic books and stuff the uh, huntstress and the anyway the characters i'm crappy with names so lucky i only watch kino in the movie theater these days I saw Parasite a couple of weeks ago or so. Cool. Parasite, I've heard. The director is fantastic. Uh, if you want to see a, a movie from the same director, Snowpiercer is really good. And it's based on a French graphic novel. Like, I actually watched Snowpiercer and I loved it so much, the movie, that I went online and bought the graphic novels shipped out to me. And I believe I got them shipped out to me from France or somewhere. I couldn't find them anywhere in Canada, United States. It's on that movie app. You have a great voice. Thank you. Fetch. Fetch me fetch me coffee. Fetch me a coffee. Chicho Spider-Man says, if if I disappoint you and I'm wrong. Does that mean I'm <laughs> no? <laughs> you know what? I, I'll watch. I even like watching crappy super comic book movies. Boop. Boop. For some reason, kid in the auto mod grabbed Spider Man. No, you're publicly executed. And if I was right, make me a mod. <laughs> Spider Man, possibly. We'll run it past the mods. Snowpiercer was good. The host is probably my favorite movie from the director. The host is fun too. I think the host, anyway, I think I've seen the host. Your proposal is accepted. Nice. So, Martin, Spider Man's mod? We're doing mod Spider Man? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. No, you should. Mod. Do I have this right? mod where are we you added i love spider-man as a moderator of this channel awesome spider-man type something you should get a little sword by your thing Is Fresno, Cali a good place to live? Nice, you got a sword. <laughs> you got a sword. Nice, I love you, Spider-Man. I'm going to cry. No, don't cry. But be gentle on people. Not too much banning and stuff, okay? Welcome to the team. Wow, you didn't need to do that. No, we didn't need to, but it's, it's, it's fine, man. It's good. My pleasure. Our pleasure. Martin... I'm okay with it. Martin seconded, so we got a second, so it's a done deal, right? Awesome. Welcome. Welcome to our <laughs> sword slashing club. <laughs> and this, I checked the weather daily. Welcome to the team, as Martin says. Welcome to the team. Welcome to the team, brother. Okay. And we're gentle here. Remember that, Spider-Man. I think I've been a little harsh lately. Just because, you know, I had the flu. I was impatient. <laughs> I think I banned someone on this stream. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. 
Yay. Cool. I'm glad uh, I'm glad you like Spider-Man. Fantastic. I'm so happy to be here. I'll definitely be gentle for awesome Spider-Man. Thank you very much. And thank you for offering to be a mod. Mod for sure. The way to become a billionaire, give me a billion dollars and I'll give it back to you. And billion water. Billion billion dollar air or <laughs> billion what? Where is a good and affordable where is good and affordable? Bang bang. Where is it good and affordable to live? Difficult to say. Really depends on uh, feta cheese and the toast. It really depends on what type of lifestyle you want. Like really? Oh, dollars, billion dollar air. I know you will be great. Oh, where where's a good place to live in Cali? I'm a hundred there. <laughs> good place in Cali? I don't know. I don't know. Northern California is beautiful. Awesome, Spider Man. Thank you. Yep. Where are you moving from? It's quite hot in the summer in Fresno. And it's not only relatively dangerous to live there, but it's also pretty heavily polluted by agriculture runoff. A Sacramento is a nice city. It doesn't matter. Just looking for a decent place in Cali. Excited for the new Batman movie. That You know what? Yeah, to a certain degree. What I'm right now, all my excitement's on Bloodshot. It's just Bloodshot that I'm excited for, brother. Stay away from the metropolitan cities. It's a cesspool. I've been a Chicho watcher since June 2016. Nice. So, where do you suggest? Sacramento, really, is a beautiful city, Sacramento. Last time I checked, which was 20 years ago. So sorry. <laughs> I've been a Chicho watcher since twelve thirty seven, August twelve thirty seven. It is better to save your money in the bank or buy uncut diamonds gold stock. No. Diamonds no. Shh. Don't diamonds no. Gold you're just preserving well. Stocks which stocks and why 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 do you want to participate in that it entirely depends on what you want do you have a career i work from home cities north of sacramento is nice saint louis louis obispo area san diego yeah are you looking to buy a place or rent bang bang i suppose to visit a friend in san antonio but it looks dangerous a lot of the unfortunately the the economic situation in can the united states is not improving so the danger level is kicking up that's for sure food is shotguns i'm telling you can food and shotguns uh, buy organic food and eat organic food and healthy food drink clean water do exercise if you need a physical fitness trainer to get you off your ass to do exercise do that that's a better place to invest your money than diamonds gold or stocks right that'll have a better payout for you than diamonds gold or stocks right because that'll improve your health that'll give you a better lifestyle right and you'll have less downtime less you'll need less medication you won't have to pay for doctors and all that jazz right keep your health mental and physical and emotional in a good state that's the best place you can invest <clears throat> can't stand winter any decent places will do i'm a gym rat nice buy organic local grown shotguns <laughs> chicho come to utah one day i'll bet you see as many free 
movies as you want while you're here. <laughs> awesome, Spider. <-Man. laughs> Thank you for the offer. <laughs> you too, Martin. <laughs> Spider Man says. Awesome. Thank you very much for the offer. I hope we're still doing this when I retire. And when I retire, brother, I'm coming over. Check the crime rate on all the cities in California. The last 10 cities, uh, 10 cities is where you want to live in. Yeah, good idea. Look into the mathematics of it. Take Critton and watch my diet too. Yeah, yeah. Build, you, we gotta live healthy. I gotta get back into the gym. I got knocked out that since Christmas time, uh, New Year, right? Your voice is so damn smooth. Thank you, delinquents. It's really hard to say without knowing anything about you or your situation. The coastal areas between any of the major cities, San Francisco, Los, An Los Angeles, San Diego, are quite nice, as well as the more inland areas of Northern California. Yeah, Pebble Beach is nice too, where Clint Eastwood used to be the mayor. I would not recommend living inland in Southern or Central California. Yeah, I don't need to work out. I'm like Bane. But instead of venom to get F ripped, it's Mountain Dew injected into my body and hulking out. Utah Salt Lake City. My favorite film was filmed there. What's that? Pool Hall Junkies. Oh, I don't think I've seen that one. Is it about pool? The ga uh, the Hustler is an amazing movie with uh, Jackie Gleason and uh, Paul Newman. So was The Color of Money was good too. I've never seen Pool Hall Junkies. What's this? I gotta check this out. Pool Hall Junkies. Pool Hall Junkies. What's going on? What's Pool Hall Junkies? Have I seen this movie? Coming from someone that runs a bar seeing a pool movie. What is this? A talented pool hustler who has stayed out of the game for years must go back to his old ways when his little brother gets involved oh brother martin a pool movie hell yes we're in <laughs> and i look like me wow interesting i've never heard of it yeah would have uh, assumed csl punk yeah it's a pool based movie nice Michael Rosenbaum is in it. I've met him at Salt at Salt Lake Comic Con. Cool. Christopher Walken. Punk is so good. Unless you're coming from the New York area, you should be prepared for a pretty significant cost of living increase. Level. Has a thirty yeah, rotten rotten tomatoes is crap, by the way, in terms of reviews. I wouldn't use rotten tomatoes, Suru imdb i'm okay with but imdb i don't even take uh clint this with daughter. oh wow clint this was daughter is in it uh and imdb i don't take their rating as absolute i look at their user reviews in imdb and i scroll down i look at both positive and negative i think that's the best way to get a feel for what's going on rotten tomatoes i do check out as well every now and then not often but rotten tomatoes is not very good I've been to Salt Lake a Comic Con every year. I met Tom Holland, aka Spider Man, and Jason Mamoa, the guy that plays Aquaman. Nice. Jason Mamoa, I've heard, is a really nice guy. I love IMDb. Yeah, me too. IMDb is what I use. We need a movie TV uh, show stream. We do, Spider Man. We work on it. I'll, I'll, there's a few things I'm trying to get off my plate. Uh, and these live streams are super fun to do and i don't want to decrease these so i'm trying to manage my time it's crazy the acting is a little dodgy but it's a good film okay christopher walken has a great monologue in that movie really i think rt is a uh is good if the critic and user ratings are in concert but not when they're different okay because I know they sell they sell ratings they lock it up it's fake documentary on lions documentary on lions 
Should we call the stream, gang? It's been a couple of hours. I'm gonna go. By the way, I finished. I, I mentioned uh, Blue Genetic, and I finished Goblin Slayer, and I'm going through Star Blazers right now. I got some nostalgia coming kicking into me, and I'm gonna watch all of Star Blazers, the three seasons. Right. Oh, the monologue, documentary on lines. The monologue. Okay. Christopher Walken's monologue, I guess. So I'm going to go watch Star Blazers after this. Star Blazers after this and watch some anime. <laughs> Should we call the stream? Let's call the stream. No. <laughs> Peace, you Have a good night. You guys too. It's too late to be, to be scared. Don't beat him. Kick his ass. This has got to be monologue uh, stuff from the movie. The worst part of the day the end of chicho uh, thanks for the love spider-man keep going 24 7 can't do it yet can't do it good night chicho thanks for the you guys as well gang thank you for the conversations thank you for uh all the info and stuff we didn't really do too much of an environmental talk we did a little bit so and this one we're going to load up on bitshoot only i don't think we're not going to load it up on youtube youtube's flagging us and all that jazz so i'm going to decrease the amount of stuff we're going to load on youtube before you go look at my pick and comics good night then take care okay let me take a look at it let's take a look let's go check it out <laughs> oh dude awesome oh man amazing fantasy number 15 amazing spider-man number one what and you're the smile on your face awesome i want a picture like this <laughs> that's great <laughs> awesome man that's a good way to end amazing streams thanks so much for making me mod my pleasure and thank you martin Thank you for the mods for being here. Thank you, especially Martin. When's the Chicho version of the Truman Show? <laughs> it's funny <to> laughing <laughs> because every once in a while, the line has to show the jackals who he is. Oh, Martin, I got to go check out this movie. I'm going to go try to track it down. Okay, gang. Have a fantastic Monday morning, Sunday evening, Monday afternoon in Australia. Okay. And uh, we'll do our streams most likely starting next weekend again. Okay. Bye for now.